Capture the what up, guys? Got Trouble Twos here from Trouble Twos Gaming, bringing you another commentary. Uh, playing some Domination again, and I believe that the map is called Whiteout. I miss epically at there to start, which is always unfortunate. Anyway, if you're watching this video, you obviously found it somehow, thus you clicked on it. Uh, I just like to preface my videos with the fact that I'm not a professional gamer. Enemy I do not problem. do well, and this video is going to be pretty bad. I go positive, which is good for me. I go decently positive, but if you read the description, it'll explain everything. Obviously, I don't want to explain it for everything, for every video, I guess. But I'm not the greatest gamer in the world. I play it to have fun, and I play it because I have time to play it when I do play it. I wonder how many times I can say play it in a uh, sentence. Jeez. I, I don't know what that guy was doing. He was just standing there because he didn't spawn there. He just ran a couple of feet and walked away from his computer. Anyway, domination on this map is, uh, I actually find it pretty fun. It'd be nice if more people played Ground War. I think that might be a little a little more action packed on this map. No one plays Ground War on PC. Um... Otherwise, this map, I, I find it really fun. There's a lot of tactical movement. It feels a little more uh, slower paced than a lot of the other ones, which I mean, a lot of people complain about. But uh, if you're just playing it and not really looking for footage, you know, it's pretty fun. But actually getting solid footage on this map, I find is kind of hard because everyone's so spread out. You know, but that's, that's just me. Because the top guy on our team ended up going like 36 and 4 or something close to that, and that kind of makes you feel bad when you can't really even get 20 kills. Enemy SATCOM spotted. But my excuse is that they were stealing it. SATCOM uplink enabled. Anyway, uh, I'm using the Drop Remington secure. R5, uh, which is probably one of my favorite guns in the game. I really, really enjoy using it. Um, it just feels solid. It kills pretty quick. The only thing I wish it had a little more of was the rate of fire could be a little better. Um, I find myself losing a couple gun battles simply because uh, the fire just wasn't there. But then again, you know, they have to balance all the guns out in certain ways to make them so that there's not just a guide gun. Uh, but I'm running uh, foregrip and uh, suppressor on it. I run the foregrip to kind of control that recoil bounce because the R5 has... It's not really inaccurate, but it bounces a lot when you're shooting it. Um, and I got suppressor to, you know, hide my position, which I find mandatory on this game, especially when you're running dead silence and uh, amplify. But uh, here we go. I, I call in my uh, kill streak thingy. Not really kill streak, but when you complete those uh, objectives. And I get a, a satellite crash. And to be completely honest, I have no idea what that does. I rarely ever even go for those uh, order, field order things. But uh, I did that time without even knowing, I think, and then I ended up doing whatever the order was and got a satellite crash. I have no idea what that does. Maybe it uh, destroys all of their, uh, all their satcoms. That's what I would assume it does, which is kind of a pointless thing to get from a care package because uh, satcoms are kind of pointless in this game to begin with because you need two of them to do anything and your team never coordinates or even tries, yet I'm running them. Yeah, that's another weird thing. I never really usually run, like, the uh, SATCOM ammo pack and uh, Oracle. Uh, I'm not good enough, obviously, to get the assault or whatever they're called. I'm horrible with the names in this game. So I normally just run the one where you can uh, set up your perks and get more perks and more kills you get. Because I kind of like to rely on myself to get kills in this game, not rely on the not good kill streaks. Because the kill streaks are kind of trash in this game. Um, except for the dogs. Those are super Enemy overpowered. I'll, I'll get to them later. Uh, and I, I really like the Oracle. I, the Oracle is, is super useful. I, I think they did a good job of balancing it out. They didn't really make it super overpowered because the, uh, I guess you could say the load time between, uh, between like when you can see the people. I feel they balanced that out quite well. But um, definitely I normally run those uh, perks because you know you can you can get better perks. I see you. I really like. I find myself using that one a lot. It lets you survive multiple gunfights a little more. And I, I fail there. Uh, this game this game was running a little choppy for some reason at this point. Uh, I kind of been having problems with it 
all morning. Enemy satcom spotted. Um, I, I don't know why, but something was just going on with it. You'll see a lot of little weird glitches and kills and stuff going on. Um, see, I pick up the fields orders there. But I, I know I don't get them because I, I fail again here. I guess I killed him. And I ranked up to level 60. Yeah, I bought level 60, uh. I've only been playing this game, you know, for a couple months since it obviously came out, but I have not a legitimate level 60. Around three weeks ago, there was something going on where you would get into a lobby where every kill you got would level you up an entire level. And I got into a lobby like that with my friend, and it was working for him, but it wasn't working for me, and I was kind of happy about that. He got to level 60 in, like, two games, and he had, like, literally just gotten the game. But then, me, I've been working at it, and I was at, like, 35. So I was like, alright, Seth, let's, let's, let's stay away from those games. You know, because I, I wanted to go legit as possible. And then, uh, one day, I was just playing by myself, and I didn't really pay attention. Next thing I know, I'm, like, level 54, and I was like, gosh, that sucks. So I was trying to be all legit and get my stats, you know, and everything, and just try to stay normal like I have on every other Call of Duty. But uh, I accidentally got into one of those hacked lobbies and did not realize it until it was too late. So yeah, I just turned level 60 on my first, like, squad member. I don't really understand the whole squad member thing. I assume it's kind of a way to, like, prestige. I haven't really looked into it. I just, I mean, I bought a second squad member, but I haven't ever used him. I don't see the point in it. Get my oracle here, call it in, and then I get, I get BS killed by a dog. Look at this. I, I shoot at the dog and I'm like, alright, I'm gonna watch the stairs. Then the dog like jumps through the window and kills me. I mean, the dogs are the most overpowered kill streak in the game. They are the most powerful kill streak in the game, I feel. If you stay in like a, a urban environment, you are unkillable. Because the dog is an insta kill within 15 feet. You can put four or five hit markers into a dog and not kill them, and then they'll jump and insta kill you. I don't even think you can knife them. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I've tried a couple times because they just jump from 10 feet out and kill you instantly. You don't have a chance. If someone has a dog, even if you hear it, you're pretty much dead because they run super fast. They have insane amount of health points. I, I hate them. That's really the only main thing I rage about in this game is the stupid dogs. I mean, I think it's a cool idea for a kill streak, and it kind of takes away the extremely overpoweredness in past games where you would just call in a horde of dogs. But what they at least need to either nerf down the uh, attack range on the dog or lower some of his health points because uh, you, you cannot kill them. I've had them leap, like insane leaves. I don't think a dog can actually jump that far in real life. Uh, and it's it's pretty annoying to have that happen to you. When you got a decent streak going, you hear a dog bark, and you know you're screwed. You're just like, ah, shit. I'm about to get my ass kicked by a fucking dog. But, uh, anyway. Once you get past that fact, I mean, I guess they don't wreck the game that much because not many people run them. But if more people start running dogs, it's it's definitely going to be a problem because they, they are the, uh, they're the ultimate killers in this game. I, I freaked out there. I almost had a heart attack. So uh, Bravo is my favorite place to just kind of cherry pick in this map. It's so easy to just take people out going in. I didn't even get like one hit marker there, I don't think. Like I said, the game was running choppy. So that won't really say it was my fault. I'll blame the computer on that one, guys. Anyway. Uh, I was just complaining about cars. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was Valentine's Day. You know, definitely, definitely saved a lot of money this year compared to uh, other gentlemen out there that are locked down by the um, by the power of a woman. You know, I can I can say I don't have to spend money on one woman because you know I don't have one. I'm living a single life, and uh, I guess you could say it's kind of nice. I mean, everyone likes a woman every once in a while, you know, but <laughs> definitely saves money. And right now, with the whole college thing going on. Ooh, money is tight, and I gotta save up for uh, Titan. Everyone, I think, is looking forward to that. That's if I uh, end up getting the money for it, I, I will get Titanfall eventually. I will, I will say that there will be a sale or something, but no guarantee on release date for Titanfall. I mean, hopefully, hopefully I can, because it looks really fun. Everyone's calling it the COD killer. I, 
don't think it's going to be that far, just because it's not on a PS4. I think was a kind of a detriment to the by the developers. Um, but we'll see. It I looks really fun. The only thing that really has me worried is um, I've watched a lot of the videos, and the gameplay seems really stale. But, I mean, like, not stale, but just really repetitive, which is funny, because I'm playing Call of Duty right now, which is the most repetitive. And that guy's grenade bounces off my face. Oh, don't know how I survived that one. But it was pretty funny, I thought. Anyway, you know, if you're still watching this video, oh, look at this hip fire fail. Finally killed him on the last floor. Those IEDs are retarded, too. I mean, you can't escape them if you hear them beeping, you're dead. Anyway, uh, if you made it this far in the video, you know, hope you uh, enjoyed it at least. If you made it this far, you probably did enjoy it. But, uh, I don't know, maybe give it a like. Not really going to beg you to subscribe, because that's what everyone does. Anyway, I think I ended up going 19 and 13. Yeah, I mean, that that's a decent game for me.